What's up, fight fans? Thank you once again for coming through. Much appreciate. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And um, if you're not new and you come back to watch another video, honestly, thank you very, very much for coming through. All right, let's talk Tyson Fury. Um, and this story needs clearing up. So feel free to chip in and help me out. Leave your comments below. I will respond to a lot of these comments because I'm very, very interested in people's thoughts on this subject. So what we do know about Tyson Fury, obviously, is that he is now officially allowed to box again. He would have to apply for his um, boxing license, which he'll easily get. Everyone gets those. It's not very difficult to get and that will see him um, officially make a comeback. So what we do know is that the UKAD suspended him for two years for a performance enhancing drug. That was backdated to December 2015, so those two years are obviously up, so now he's obviously allowed to go and do what he wants over to do, which I guess raised more questions than answers for me. That means they found him guilty of taking a performance enhancing drug. They found him guilty of cheating. Um, the Christian Hamer fight, which I was live at, is now turned into a no contest, which is obviously please Christian Hamer's team as he goes for... Um, a uh, fight against Povetkin coming up. So, the question for me is, is he a cheater? And if so, he's got an easy ride. Uh, and what I mean by that, before people um, destroy me in the comments section, is this. Look, obviously in terms of him being out of the ring, in terms of how he earns his money, he's not been able to do it for two years. So that must have been difficult financially. It's not like Tyson Fury is a, a sponsor's dream. He doesn't have numerous sponsors like an Anthony Joshua or other fighters. So, in terms of his income... In terms of what he brings in, brings to the table, he's not been able to do it for two years. And I don't think he earned a great amount of money for the Vladimir Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko fight. He wouldn't have. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko probably would have taken the large chunk of it, 75% plus pay-per-view. Um, so he wouldn't have been earning that much um, for Tyson Fury. So I don't think he got paid millions. So in terms of him earning money, it's been tough on him. But in terms of him being ridiculed and castrated and crucified by the British public for taking a performance-enhancing drug... I think it's been pretty minimal. I, I have to say, I think it's been minimal. I don't know if it's because we feel sorry for him. I don't know if it's because of the issue with depression. Um, him and I think Huey Fury also said that the, the drug in question came from um, some tainted meat sauce. A lot of people have said that. I remember Alistair Overeem said that. Alistair Overeem is an MMA fighter. For people that might not know, he said that his use of um, testosterone and performance enhancing drugs came from eating horse meat. So a lot of fighters have used this one. Um, I, I, I still don't know um, he's obviously denied it as everyone does there's no cheater there's no cheater that's come out and said yeah cool apart from Lance Armstrong there's not many of said yeah you got me hey you got me hook line and sinker so I expect everyone to come out and say something as an excuse and he has used that as an excuse and I think we've kind of just somehow accepted it and I don't know why um, I, I do believe if it was another fighter and I, I'm going to mention this guy's name if it was Anthony Joshua that got caught cheating and was suspended, but still was fighting his case, I think he would have been absolutely destroyed. I can imagine some people said, I told you so, look at his physique. Oh, he's always been cheating, look at the power. Tyson Fury, I don't know if it's because of the way he looks. I think people still have this image of steroid cheater means muscles and six pack, um, which it clearly doesn't. Um, and I think Tyson Fury has got away with it. I think he's got away with it. But what do you guys think? It's a very quick video. Let me know what you think. I'm confused. Has he admitted to the fact that he cheated? Has he just accepted the two-year ban? I've not seen the statement by UKAD, but I've read a few other people's statements online and seen a few interviews. And it does seem to suggest that him and his lawyers have negotiated a way around this so he got the two-year suspension. But that doesn't mean he cheated, right? That doesn't mean he cheated. It doesn't mean he's admitted cheating, right? Am I confused? Um, do you guys think he cheated? Um, I do. I, I, I firmly do. I watched an interview with... Um, Tyson Fury and Coogan Cassius. This was prior to the rematch that didn't happen. So they're doing a press junkie for Klitschko Fury 2. And this was in Manchester. And this was on the back of the Lucas Brown incident. Where Lucas Brown got stripped of his international belt or WBC silver belt. When he beat Shagaya because of, again, performance enhancing drugs. And Coogan asked Tyson Fury about the situation. Tyson Fury said all, of, all top athletes cheat. He said all boxers. He said he believes that every single top, top athlete and boxers cheat. He said Vladimir Klitschko cheated against me when we thought it didn't help him. And um, the question really that Coogan should have asked, and I think he kind of did as well, was like, so does that include you? And he kind of said, well, yeah. But he then laughed off and said, oh, I do cocaine. I do all this kind of stuff, which obviously he clearly was doing. Um, but if that's his mindset, and if that's his mindset going into fights, that everyone is cheating, Knowing that, it's going to take a very brave man not to want to cheat yourself. A very brave man. To know you're going in there against cheaters, 
Took a very brave man to do it. But what do you guys think? Tyson Fury, guilty or not? And if so, has he been given an 